Come dance to the rhythm when your circle meets Cabaret. Well, okay. Welcome to Cabaret in your game. I'm in a, a hotel with horrible rug taste, or I'm just really drunk. Alright. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. No, but seriously, am I drunk? Yes, loud door noises. My headset's not that loud. Come on, why why is the door so loud? No okay. go. A piece of news about a missing case at the Argus Hotel. Seven artists reported missing. Reported missing, vanished more than two weeks ago after checking out of their hotel room. Uh, at the end of the vacation, the Argus Hotel, which is famous for its splendid decorations, had been reported several missing. Something about eyes again. Is that supposed to be the exchange? It's about to think like the fucking uh, angel design with many eyes, only sort of yin and yang with an eyeball in the middle. What good is sitting alone in your room? Uh... Cause I'm totally not doing that. <laughs> totally not. I don't think that's how record players work. Anyways, uh, this person's god-awful art ability. This would sell for five million at the Liberal Arts Museum, though, for sure. Just chunks of fucking feces and random splotches of paint that looks really thick and viscous. Hmm. Also, there's an obnoxious level of <laughs> obnoxious amount of fucking people driving outside loudly revving. Holy shit. It's like it's it's December. It's sort of lukewarm outside, so people are being fucking, you know, those douchebag bikers all over again. Seriously. If I ever have a chance to move, I gotta make sure I'm just never around a main road ever again, just so I don't have to listen to fucking douchebag bikers and people obnoxiously, pointlessly revving their engine in a residential fucking area. Jesus Christ, like seriously, my absolute hatred and wishfulness of them dying a painful death by how obnoxiously they had to drive and rev their Harley Davidson or other shit. God damn. Bale fires are lighting through all the land. The fey folk are dancing, their hour is at hand. Their music is heard in the chattering stream. Their call echoes out on the wings of a dream. More fucking eyeballs. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Leviticus 17.11 this person's obsessed with eyeballs. I'm getting tired of seeing eyeballs, man. Can I leave? No. Want me to want me to look at eyeballs some more? Embrace. Embrace everywhere. There are eyes everywhere. What are they embracing? I don't know and I don't care. This bed possibly has eyeballs in the fucking lover. Like, no, seriously, what, what do they want me to do? Oh, fucking seriously, is the pillow the whole time? God damn it, who thought, who the fucking thought you'd have to look at the, a pillow? Like, seriously. He helped me to see. Well, I already... Huh? I, I... 
didn't understand a single fucking thing you said. I don't think that's good for the wood doors. This game certainly has a lot of uh, loud fucking noises. And ugly art. Looks like some sort of rituals. Are they witches? Totally. Come hear the music play. Uh, it's gonna be shitty music, isn't it? Like, my headset's not that loud, but it's like, why is it every time there has to be a loud noise in this game? It's, it's like, obscenely loud. Like, the person over the phone, I didn't even know what the fuck they even said. Does he split? Yeah, that's a fucking tall ass fucking ceiling. God of seeing. Eyeballs. Looks like an instruction for something. Off equals eyeball open. Another instruction for something. Lost sacrifice return. One to look at the eyeball with a question mark, then the X, then a plus. And then the same thing. On and off. Hmm. Not sure, but if I see an eyeball or oh, er, switch. Hmm. So you're saying I have to look for an eyeball with a question mark? Maybe. It'll probably be the only way I can open this ugly door. Hmm. Alright, let's look for a... Oh, plus. Is question mark, X, then plus if I remember. That was it? That, that was it. Two instructions, I mean. It was just walk up to three of the eyeballs. Okay. I thought there'd be more, but maybe there is, but maybe there isn't. Whatever. A giant fucking pool. That sort of pops in and out of existence because shaders. Okay. Little martini. More ugly art. Demon, demon do, do. Demon do, do. Not, not. Wear white. Wear white. Demon, demon do, do. Not, not. Wear white. Wear white. Demons do not wear white. Demon do not wear white. Are you sure about that? But knowing that demons don't wear white, and if humans knew that demons don't wear white, then wouldn't demons want to wear white? Just to trick you? Holy shit, a ticket! Okay, we need to get the Willy Wonka ticket. Let's go. Bo bo not wearing white, I'm going to presume, has to do with... Probably we'll look at the film reel or something and find out which statue is a demon and which is an angel. I don't fucking know. That's a big fucking ticket. A ticket to the cabaret. What are they performing? I don't know, man. More eyeballs. Ugh, they're flickering now. 
Ouais. Hein? Okay. Sure. Well, at least I don't have to go to each of those statues to find out what's different amongst them or something. Yeah. Strange. Well, I guess as long as we remember that demons don't like to wear white, which I'm going to say is bad intel, honestly. That's it, though. Th this floor is done. Apparently. I don't know. Maybe people that are watching this and who are more art involved will disagree with me. You see, circles have very simple uh, tastes. Oh, you you give me you give me ribs. You give me steak. I don't want it complicated, man. Why can't I move? Uh, I just don't I, don't... I don't see the point of many things that involve art. I like simple things. Like, if you gave me... Counter-Strike weapon skin, just give me something that's just, like, a nice... color. That's just, like, you know, like... Just something that's pure gold or... Pure red. I don't, I'm not gonna go for you know that crazy ass shit like dragon lore or other shit Asimov. I don't care about that. Give me the bulldozer skin. That's pure yellow. It looks sexy. Life is a cabaret. Old chum, come to the cabaret. Well, like every time I think of extravagant art, it just makes me instantly think of smug people. I mean, that's basically what the art industry has turned into. When you think of, like, modern art where people are just, like, throwing paint at a canvas or it's just, like, a piece of paper that's blank that's duct taped to a wall and then rich people are like, Oh, five million dollars for that art piece. It's so extravagant. It's just money. It's just a fraud and money laundering scheme at the end of the day. That's all art has become is an excuse for rich people to do money laundering and using, you know, the art scene as a means of... Permitting their fraud. Meh, that That's just life how it is, I guess. Life is cabaret. Okay, I already read that note. This one has wine splashed on it. For sure wine. Okay. And then when it comes to nice art, because we do have the art contest happening, all the real artists are found online. Drawing sexy animals. <laughs> it's like, it's a serious, the funny thing, too. See the goodness. What does goodness stand for? Uh, everything good? I guess it's a good answer. When you think of artists or people trying to do art as a main, a main uh, occupation or as a job, honestly, the, the best advice I could give you as a person who's not an artist or not an expert in art is... Make sure you just, you make art for furries. Seriously, it's, there's so many customers. It's, like, it's the funny thing I talk about here and there. There's artists that are just like, they want to make a, make a living off the money of their art. And it's just like, okay, well, you, you draw humans, right? Okay, well, you, you draw maybe nature or wildlife. Just, just go into the furry fandom and show your art skill and just market the furries. You'll make more money than you were in the past. The furries will help you, you know, get more money and get better at your uh, at your art style. Something or something is looking at me, or am I? Or I am looking some, or I am looking something. What? What? Something is looking at me, or I am looking something. I'm guessing it means, or I am looking at something. Bad English. But yeah, that's my only advice for artists. Get in the furry fandom. Try your best not to get converted and become a furry, but... 
<laughs> but otherwise, there's so many times I've seen artists that are just like, yeah, I'm an artist, and you know, they have great skill, but they, they complain about not being, being able to make ends meet. And then they get told, well, go, into the, go to the furry fandom, draw furry art. They make like five to ten times more money by just fucking drawing furry art. The only bridge you'll have to cross is whether or not you're going to make fucking lewds or not, or you keep things PG-13. Because those are two different realms of markets. And if, you, if you're going to do lewds and non-lewds, you know, combined, holy shit, you're going to make a lot of money. Some furries are going to fucking, like, pay you $200 for a single piece of smut. The KKK member? Why are the KKK here? Please don't demonetize my channel by saying that. No, but seriously, why was there a fucking tone head in here? The doors are ex <laughs> poggers. <laughs> They're poggers for me. Okay. Oh, I can't. I don't know if I can make a poggers face. Oh, they were poggers. Okay. Why were they poggers? Is it like? And I was looking in the wrong direction. So it was a lot of people that like the doors go crazy. Do people just stand still in fright for me? I just kept casually walking forward, being like, oh, okay. And I didn't see their poggers face except from the side, and it's just like, <gasps> like fucking poggers. Why were the doors poggers? Horror game. Snobby, rich people art museum hotel. Also poggers. So I sat in a chair. They're not introduced to me loud and sudden noises. I was hearing fear and hunger music for a second there, sound effects. Oh, that thing had a lot of eyeballs. And then everyone stood and clapped. The end. I don't get it. Maybe I just don't have rich blood or rich taste in things, but I... A little possibly convoluted and trife. Is trife the word I'm looking for? Trife? Let me double check a dictionary. Hmm, trife is not the right word I'm looking for. Oh, wait. An abbreviation for trifling, as used to describe something tasteless, something trashy, something gross, something unattractive, or something undesirable. Hmm, perhaps. All the other words of trife is being hopeless or helpless, living in poverty? Not sure. Oh, well. Maybe I'm wrong about the word choice, maybe I'm not, but I don't know. Because uh, let's break it down in a simple manner. Perhaps I just don't have such a big brain to understand it. You're in a hotel that's full of potentially rich snobby people, like celebrities and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shitting on celebrities. People can go fucking cry if they want. I don't like the Hollywood scene and celebrity smugness and... You fucking like California smugness. I'm, I'm, I'm a very simple person. I was raised in a small village. I like simple matters and simple things. I like keeping things straightforward and simple, bite-sized, understandable. You know that kind of shit. When I'm met with things that are pointlessly convoluted or pointlessly, hmm, like it's. It's why when you see someone who is rich, like let's think Minecraft's Notch. When you see a person who's rich but still appears down to earth, people typically like them more than the lifestyle of a rich person who lives in luxury. Like then you can think of it like thing like, and we're not getting political here, but then you think of people like say Trump. No fucking political shit here, I'm just saying. I'm bringing up because of him living in places that are, like, you know, coated in gold. And pure gold, and, you know, his room in that 
His one hotel is just like gold tables, gold that, gold that. That's what you'd expect out of, you know, a stereotypical rich person, a stereotypical money bags. And no, I don't want the comments becoming fucking political of orange man bad. We're not going that direction. But that's what people usually think of when they think rich. They think fancy wine and luxurious carpets and oh art design you just wouldn't understand because you're a peasant you i I always think of that smugness I'm, i'm i'm sure i'm not the only one so let's break it down into peasant mode here of the game's point or at least why i just i guess don't care much for it we're in a hotel for rich potentially snobby people um the carpets are hella fucking ugly. We go in a room who's with a person who's a crappy fucking painter who's just globbed a canvas with blotches of shitty, very viscous blotches of just colors and paint. I don't know if it's fucking oil or fucking... Uh, maybe oil. Um, and they're obsessed with eyeballs, and there's just shitty pieces of parchment paper littered everywhere that look like children's drawing illustrating someone's obsession with eyeballs, maybe demons, but maybe things from hell, maybe angels, or both. And the eyeball crude Crayola drawings are everywhere in this fancy smancy hotel. We pick up a fucking phone, someone says something, and I couldn't hear what it was, but loud so scary, maybe? And then the door opened after someone painstakingly clawed the door, thus ruining the wood design. Uh, And then it opened. Then we went into an art museum where we bumped into a bunch of art to open a big door, to go to a big pool, to touch a film reel, to show a bunch of laser light shows of more eyeballs. Then the door opened again after we got Willy Wonka's ticket. And then we went back in the elevator to be introduced by big-faced poggers. Uh, Not before, of course, seeing a a random KKK dude standing down the hallway. Then we sat down in our exclusive VIP seat in front row ticket to watch a movie that was maybe the beginning of the game as a camera rotates and spins, only then to see a big, chunky, organ, alien, maybe demon thing with lots of eyes. And then it said the end, then everyone clapped. Just like the stories you'd see on Twitter of people saying, My three-year-old daughter is very scared of what just happened. She came to me and said, Mommy, is that person dead? I'm scared. And then everybody clapped. You know, those kinds of people that make up bullshit stories just to sort of virtue signal some moral bullshit. You see those people a lot where they just like, they, they try to shoehorn a daughter or son that doesn't exist or never asked this question as they try to extrapolate their dislikeness of a certain situation, so they use their children as a piece, like a fucking puppet to their stupid bullshit adult games. Um, so if I got the game broken down like that, what the fuck was this fucking game about? <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be people be like, well, Nico, I can break it down in this fancy schmancy way you just don't understand because you're s- tiny little pebble circle brain cannot comprehend the greatness. And I'll just be like, oh, Okay. I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry to the developer if I'm shitting on you. I, I, I'm not shitting on you. I'm just letting you know I'm not shitting on you. But I, I guess after playing this game, uh, it'd be one of those situations where, well, I'm not going to just throw out my recording, so I'm going to at least give my take on it. I usually always give my take at the end of a game, depending on what thoughts I have. But, I mean, you can interpret the game in different ways for sure, but in this, there's just... I don't know, man. Maybe people, like, people and other YouTubers might play this and be like, Wow, scary. That was an interesting game. Thanks, developer. Cool game. 8 out of 10. For me, I'd like to at least give some fucking unique input. Because I guarantee the developer's just been given, you know, YouTubers who maybe recorded it and just gave blank fucking monotone reactions. Or, you know, they made a video and they just got jump scared a few times and then just start sucking the dick. It was a great game, developer. Holy shit, it make me spoopy scoopy. And, uh, you know, I, I want to give valid criticisms and reactions here rather than uh, fucking stereotypical, sterile, knee-jerk reactions and praise. But I don't know what to make of it, really. 
So maybe it's useless feedback. I don't know. But then again, like I said, it is part of my I like simple things. Like when I play... Survival horror. You know what you're doing. You Your objective is survive. Just like if I smoke bad weed and I'm just lying on a couch saying, Oh, I feel queasy and nauseous. Honestly, what happens in my brain when I smoke any bad weed, and I don't smoke often, but whenever it happens or you drink too much, there's one thing that happens. In my brain, there's like a fucking user interface appears at the top of my eyeballs, and the words that it tells me is like, mission objectives, survive, is all I fucking see while I'm high or drunk, and I don't like that. It's very simple. Survive. In games like this, as a horror game, what is the objective? What is the point? It's... It's more of an artistic expression. But I don't know. I like simple things. I guess that's all I can say. I appreciate the simple matters. When people can break things down and make it understandable. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Because the developer can do whatever the fuck they want, obviously. The developer can make whatever the fuck they want, even if I don't understand it or don't care to. But... I hope you enjoyed my monologuing and rant anyways, and let me know what your thoughts are, what your interpretations are, if you agree or disagree, or if you understood the game fully and you have a big brain and you want to let me know how big your brain is. With that said and done, I hope you enjoyed, uh, just enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Hmm.